here, but I'm just going to show you that I've played with. Just there's something and nothing, and that we can use for um, collage. And we can put interesting things together, okay? Collage gives you the ability to put lots of different mediums with lots of different things. So it becomes really exciting. And you can mix um, you know, the acrylic with crayons, with watercolours, with wax crayons, with lace, <laughs> with different papers. It's, it's fantastic. So the idea now is not to just maybe make paint pictures, is to play an experiment. So that's what I'm just going to show you. Here are some actual, um, just plain things that I've done in colours, which are actually really nice, which I'm going to show you to how we're going to use for um, doing collage. I've done some stencil on here. I've done different, <laughs> um, uh, different uh, patterns. You can see on here what I've done within the paint. So you can see how you can develop interesting things. They started off just by you know, playing, doing different things. Here's another one. You get some nice effects, don't you? Uh -huh. um, these are kind of stencils that we can use for things, which I'll, uh, again, I'll show you. This. this is an interesting one. And then suddenly, if you do something like this, um, you've suddenly got something fascinating, uh -huh. abstract thing. And that's just simple. There's nothing stuck on there or anything. Okay? So, um, I use different things. Here's another one actually with collage itself and I've used lots of different cutouts of different things that I've done. I just was playing with this last night. Um, you can see there's some nice texture in here from tissue paper. Mm -hmm. um, I painted on the tissue paper, which I have for you here. And I've painted on the tissue paper and then I've ripped bits off and I've put it on here. Mm -hmm. And because of the tissue paper and the shape on, uh, on the shape there that I've painted on there, you get some really interesting nice textures. Mm -hmm. And this is all kind of abstract, but you could actually do a landscape, a seascape. You could do a vase of flowers. You could actually turn it into a ditto, ditto, proper picture mm -hmm. <laughs> rather than in, into an abstract. Personally, for me, I'm an abstract girl, but I, I would also do the other things. But what I wanted to show you was different interesting effects you can get and how you can do this. So that's what I'm, I'm going to show you. We'll do like a, a little bit at a time and build it up so you don't get overwhelmed with all of it at once. <laughs> okay, so... Um, here I've got, and I've got quite a few of these, this is just a board with some plastic on it, which I use as a palette, but I also use it as a printing block, which is, is interesting. And I have lots of paper, which is here, um, to, to keep doing things. So, what I might start with doing is um, just... Um, just putting, doing, pa painting stuff on here, just shapes. I can just do some interesting shapes, okay? Nothing spectacular, just something, um, anything really. Then I could put this over the top and see what produces here. Mm. Which is kind of quite nice, okay? Mm -hmm. Then um, I can do two things. I can actually take a bit of paint off here and I can start putting this on in different ways again, whatever I, I feel like doing. And we're just playing at the moment. It's just, let's see what happens if we play. Okay. And again, I might just go back into here and see what happens. Okay. On both of them. <laughs> okay, then I might get a little bit more adventurous and I might just do this on here again and actually push it down a little bit further, which I can do with this. Sorry about the squeaks. And you get something different on here. Okay, then what I might do 
is do something completely different. Okay. Um, I'm going to need a small paper. Yeah, could you grab this? Sorry, I put it all over there. Thanks. <coughs> See, just fun. And I can do some more other things with that. What I'm going to do, oh, yeah, thank you. That's great. Um, with what's left over on here, I can take what on here. Okay, so now what I might do is see what happens if I just do something on here. to get something interesting, then what I might do is draw into here. <laughs> then it becomes interesting because that will then translate onto here. Okay? You can see how it can build up. It's fascinating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can start doing some really um, interesting things. I'm going to add the red. Let's see what happens with the red. And I might add some blue. Uh, I'm going to do two different things now. Which is going to be interesting. I'm going to... I talk to myself, sorry. <laughs> it's just how I work. <laughs> how does that work? Will that go on there? I don't know. Let's have a see. Let's see what happens. Okay, now two things are going to happen here. One is this. I'm getting the pattern on this side. But then let's see what happens on that side. Not much. <laughs> Which is okay. Because then... I'm going to take that off there, put that back on here, and then see what happens. See, it's just experiment, and all I'm doing is seeing what might happen. Okay, it's giving me ideas for a project that then I might like to do. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Ta da! <laughs> So can you see now, just, just to begin with, just work with not many colours. I'm going to talk about the colour wheel later. But just um, to start playing with this, you can use the palette you can do on the paper.